everybody, Tiny Raccoon here. It is February 22nd at 7.20 p.m. and it is storming. But you know what? That is really great weather for amphibians like salamanders and frogs and guess who I just found. Let's check him out. This is a spotted salamander. He's a member of the mole salamanders family and he can live over 20 years. But you know what he does during those 20 years? He spends almost his whole life underground in his burrow. Yeah, he doesn't even come out. He waits for food, like little bugs, to come to him. Except for a couple nights a year when he goes back to his ancestral pond where he was born and gets ready to lay some eggs. Do you all want to go to the pond and see who else is there? Let's go check it out. Oh my goodness, guys, I just found another one. Check this out. Yeah, he's really enjoying this rain and... Oh, oh, I see another one heading to the pond. Let's go see him. He's moving pretty fast. We gotta catch up. Oh, look at him go. See those spots? He has yellow spots on his body and orange spots on his head and little buggy black eyes that kind of make him look like a muppet. He is very, very cute. But these spots help him blend in with the leaves on the forest floor so that predators don't find him. Let's take a closer look. Wow, he is very beautiful. You see how shiny he is? He has nice, wet, slimy skin to help him breathe. Yeah. All right, we're almost at the pond. I wonder how many salamanders will be there. There's another one. That is salamander number six or seven that I've seen. And over here is number eight. This one's kind of a small one. How old do you think he is? If they live to be over 20 years, hmm. I'm not sure. And you know what? I hear someone talking at the pond. Oh, and I can see salamanders heading towards the water. We can get a closer look. Now, salamanders don't talk like frogs do. They're pretty quiet, but they have very expressive faces. <gasps> Gotta watch my step. Yeah, look at those eyes. He does look like a Muppet, doesn't he? He's almost as cute as I am. Here goes another one. He's moving really fast. Yeah, he's almost to the water's edge. There's the water's edge. It's very, very muddy. Let's pause for a breath. It was a dark and stormy night, but it was perfect weather for salamanders. Oh, here's three over here. Let's look closer. What a smile. There's two over here. Yeah, he can move pretty Oh, oh, look, this guy coming. Whoa, he really wants to get to the water. And there's another one back there with big orange spots in his head. In one, two, three, four. Oh my goodness, guys, there are so many spotted salamanders here. I've lost count. Oh, let's get right up to the water's edge and we'll see if we can see any already in the water. Now, Spotted salamanders are amphibians, so they spend part of their lives in water. Amphibian means two lives, a water life and a land life. So just a couple nights a year when it's nice, warm, stormy weather like this, the spotted salamanders leave their burrows and they come to the vernal pool. A vernal pool is a pond that dries up during part of the year so the fish can't survive in it because baby fish and big fish will eat little baby salamanders. So they don't want to lay their eggs in a pond with fish. They like 
vernal pools. Wow, what a night. So the male and the female salamanders are gonna meet in this pool and they will lay their eggs and a frog just hopped by too. Oh my goodness, do you see those frogs hopping? It's hard to tell in the dark, but I bet a lot of these are wood frogs because I heard a wood frog when I came up the hill. Yeah, wood frogs are a kind of water frog, but they actually spend, oh my goodness, look how many salamanders there are there. Whoa! Oh, and right past my feet, I didn't even see them. That's why you have to be so careful. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, you might swash them if you aren't careful. Anyway, back to the wood frogs. They live on the forest floor. And in the winter, they hide in the leaf litter. And then they freeze solid. Yeah, they freeze just like an ice cube. So many salamanders, I have to keep looking. But the wood frogs freeze like an ice cube. And then whenever spring happens, nice warm night like this, they just fall out and wake up and they look around and then they hop to their ancestral pool, the vernal pool, and they lay their eggs. They like the same nights that the spotted salamanders like. And the way that I knew that they were wood frogs is because I heard them quacking. Yeah, a wood frog kind of sounds like a tiny duck. It kind of sounds like quack, quack. Maybe they kind of sound like they're laughing, but there are some wood frogs in this pond too. But you know what? There are a lot more spotted salamanders tonight. Wow, look at this guy. Man. Listen carefully, everybody. The wood frogs are quacking. Can you hear them? If you look carefully, you can see their lights, their eyes, excuse me, glowing in the light. And I can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I'm not sure, but it's well over 20 wood frogs. Oh, there's a bunch more over here. They're very cute. They're light brown, kind of a little red, with an eye mask just like mine. Yeah, it's a good-looking eye mask. I don't blame them for copying my style. They're saying quack, quack. But it really means, I love you. They're calling to the female wood frogs to come to the pond and lay eggs with them. And wood frogs are just like spotted salamanders in that they only lay their eggs in vernal pools, ponds that don't have any fish in them. If you see a wood frog, you know that it's a vernal pool. It's actually a little scary how many salamanders are here. It's definitely hundreds of salamanders and you know what? Every time I look down, there's like another 10 salamanders sitting on my feet. So I can't even move once I'm here. You have to sit very, very still.
wood frog. Wow. Check out that mask. Just like mine. That is a good looking frog. Here it goes. Back into the water. If there are this many salamanders just within five feet of me on the surface, how many are down in the water already? And how many haven't even gotten to the pond yet? Some of them have to walk pretty far to get here. Yeah, they've got to travel from their burrows. They can be many, many hundreds of feet away. Maybe even up to a quarter or a half a mile. Yeah, they can travel pretty far to go back to their ancestral vernal pool to lay their eggs. That is pretty amazing. And spotted salamanders, since they spend most of their life on land, these adult salamanders breathe with lungs. So once they're all in the water, they're laying their eggs at the bottom of the vernal pool. Here went a frog hopping. Actually, that was a spring peeper frog. That wasn't a wood frog. It was a little bitty spring peeper. But I did hear a wood frog quack just now. Yeah. There we go. So they'll lay their eggs on the bottom of the pond, and then they will have to keep swimming up to the surface to take a gulp of air because they breathe with lungs. This is the salamanders we're talking about. And whenever it's the biggest night of salamander year, there will be, I'm not kidding, hundreds of salamanders in this one tiny pond. Yeah, and there will be so many coming up for air at once that it kind of looks like eels swimming up to the surface. Like the shrieking eels. It's kind of creepy. But they're pretty cute when they're up on land. Yeah, he looks like he's smiling. Oh, there's another one under my feet. Oh, and this guy's just coming out from hiding under the leaves. Oh, here's three crawling over, over my feet that I didn't even see. Wow. Wow, guys, look at this salamander. He doesn't have any spots. He's actually not a spotted salamander, is he? He is a Jefferson salamander. And who is this right here? That is a tiny frog, and he has a little X on his back. The X on his back means that he is Sudacris Crucifer. Crucifer for a cross. He is a spring peeper. There's a lot of spring peepers out tonight hopping through the water, but it's a little too early for them to lay their eggs. I would guess, hmm, another couple of weeks, and they'll be out early to mid-March, laying their eggs, and they will be very, very loud singing when that happens. Oh, there he went! Bye, Mr. Peeper! I don't know, guys. I think we're at 100 salamanders already. So, the spotted salamander, in summary, is an amazing animal, and I highly, highly recommend that if you have a pond with no fish in it, or a vernal pool, if you're a scientist, that you come out any warm spring night in February and March and sit very, very carefully and watch for the spotted salamanders to arrive. But remember, watch your step.